from dark energy and matter to space travel. These are seven strange mysteries of space. Number seven, the great dark void. Empty space in space? We kick off our journey into outer space by visiting what is known as the great void. So what is this place? Why is it so strange? For starters, the sheer size of it is just incomprehensible. It's almost 330 million light years in diameter, or about 0.27% of the diameter of the observable universe. The super void was discovered in 1981, while researchers were surveying galactic redshifts. At first, it was believed that the void was completely empty, but astronomers did find a few galaxies as time went on. So seriously, how empty is this place? There are 60 known galaxies inside, when there should be approximately 2,000. Here's where things get crazy. This great void is small compared to the ones discovered later on. There's also the giant void, which is approximately 1 to 1.3 billion light years in diameter. Not that this will help with comprehending the size of this empty space, but here it goes. One light year is the distance that light travels in one Earth year, which is around 6 trillion miles. 1 billion times 6 trillion is, um, 6 sextillion miles. But wait, there's more! The biggest, largest, hugest, most gigantic void we know of today is the KBC void. It is around 2 billion light years in diameter. And believe it or not, Earth, the Milky Way, and everything you have ever known and loved is located inside the void. Number 6. Dark Matter or Primordial Black Holes What is matter? It's any substance that has mass and volume. What is dark matter? No one knows really. It is a hypothetical, massive, exotic particle. But hey, if it wasn't for dark matter, a lot of other things wouldn't make any sense. Dark matter helps explain the unexplainable, so to speak. Scientists know what dark matter isn't more than what it is. Here is what we know. Dark matter does not emit any light, and it does not reflect any light. It is not antimatter, and until recently, it was believed that dark matter is not a part of black holes. But theories linking dark matter to primordial black holes have surfaced. And by primordial, I mean black holes that were formed within the first fractions of a second of the universe's existence. So how much dark matter is there? Well, about 80% of the mass in the universe is made up of matter that scientists cannot identify. In the 1950s, astronomers were examining spiral galaxies, expecting to see a big difference between the speed of the center and the outer edges of these galaxies. However, they found out that the speed was the same all around, meaning there was much more mass than originally expected. Since they couldn't see the mass and they didn't want to mess with the general theory of relativity, they came up with a hypothetical dark matter. Sooner or later, we will find out what dark matter is, and the mystery of the 80% of missing mass will be laid to rest. Number 5. The Great Attractor – Pulling the Strings Right now, our very own Milky Way galaxy is flying through space at an incredible 1.3 million miles an hour. And where are we headed? No one can say for certain, but scientists have dubbed it the Great Attractor. Some possible explanations are a super giant cluster of galaxies that we're unable to see, a massive black hole, or a cluster of dark matter. Considering we're also supposedly located in the biggest void of space we know of, it's hard to imagine just what kind of forces lurk in the darkness. We just know they are there. It doesn't help that the Great Attractor is also conveniently located in the center of the zone of avoidance which is the hardest area to visibly observe because of galactic space dust and aliens or whatever. There are other theories of an even bigger attractor that is dragging us through space. However, this one is believed to be a supermassive cluster of galaxies. Number 4. KIC 8462852 Dyson Swarms? Known as Tabby Star, 
KIC 846-2852 is a star located in the Cygnus constellation around 1200 light years away from us. During the Planet Hunters project, citizen scientists noticed unusual light fluctuations coming from the star. At some points, the light dimmed by 22%. When big boy scientists looked at the star, they noticed the same thing. And no one has been able to explain why this is happening. NASA's explanation was that an uneven ring of dust was orbiting the star. Others have speculated that dusty comet fragments are responsible. Tabby's star isn't the only star to have large dimmings, but all others that do have a completely different dimming pattern. Possibly the craziest and hardest to prove theory is that Tabby's star is actually a Dyson Swarm built by extraterrestrial life. Dyson Swarms are theoretical space habitats and solar power satellites that capture the energy of the star they surround. Number 3 dark energy or the force just like dark matter we don't know exactly what dark energy is but we can venture a guess as to what it is responsible for since the 1990s humanity's observations indicate that the universe is indeed expanding at an accelerating rate current measurements suggest that dark energy makes up about 68 percent of the total energy in the observable universe the density of dark energy is minuscule, but because it is uniform across space, it dominates. In the grand scheme of things, dark energy is a bigger hypothetical than dark matter, and our chances of measuring, finding, or observing it are much smaller. The easiest way to think of dark energy is as the fundamental energy of space, the energy density of empty space. A little more on the expansion of the universe. Scientists believe that the acceleration of the expansion of the universe began some 5 billion years ago. Before that, it is believed that the expansion was decelerating due to dark matter. But dark matter lost the battle and dark energy rules supreme in our universe. Or neither dark energy or dark matter exists. Einstein was wrong and we need to fix the general theory of relativity. Sounds like fun, huh? Number 2 black holes do they have a counterpart what is a black hole it is a region of space that has such insanely strong gravitational forces that even light cannot escape from it there are three types of black holes the stellar black hole which is created when large stars collapse are the most common ones just imagine the mass of the sun multiplied by five and fit it all into the size of your city that's how much mass we're talking about packed into such tiny space Next up, we have supermassive black holes. As the name suggests, these things are insanely big. Imagine the mass of the sun, but then multiply it by millions or even billions. It is believed that every galaxy has a supermassive black hole in the center of it. Our very own is known as Sagittarius A. Finally, we have intermediate black holes, which are pretty much stellar black holes that are devouring material and gaining size and mass until they become so big that we refer to them as supermassive black holes. To confuse this even more, scientists have come up with a theoretical white hole, a region of space that cannot be entered from outside, but matter and light can escape from, the exact opposite of a black hole. The gamma ray burst 060614 was mysterious in its own way, since it challenged our current models. Some have suggested that the burst was actually a white hole that appeared for 102 seconds. Number 1. The Size Where are we? The universe is defined as all of space and time, everything that has ever been or will be, including all forms of matter and energy. The observable universe is estimated to be at least 156 to 554 billion light years in diameter. But for all we know, it could be infinitely big. For me, thinking of the universe as infinite is a lot easier than thinking about what comes after it. How about you, my dear viewer? How do you see the universe? Let me know in the comments below. Our general understanding of the formation of the universe is the Big Bang Theory. Some 14 billion years ago, something happened, and a fixed amount of energy and matter has been gently expanding. Into what? We don't know. From what? We don't know. How? We don't know. Most importantly, why? We don't know. 
Humanity has a long way to go in exploring deep space. On April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin was the first human to journey in outer space. Four years later, on March 18, 1965, Alexei Leonov, the man you see in this grainy picture, became the first person to spacewalk. He stepped outside of his Voxha 2 craft and for 12 minutes and 9 seconds experienced what it's like to be in outer space. Then, on July 20th, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin actually walked on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Hopefully, the future brings more of these moments for mankind. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.